Hi, good morning. Robin Rose here with Rose. Wild Rose. Um, it is the season of roses and mmm, do they smell delicious. And this beautiful rose that I'm here with is actually a native New Jersey rose. Um, I don't remember the species name, but I make a, most of my medicine with multiflora, the wild rose that is small blossoms. Uh, there we go. Small blossoms and white little flowers and ubiquitous and um, gardeners pull it out or cut it out or, or rather dig it out. It's a very tenacious root um, massively. And some herbalists I know actually turn their noses up at Rosa multiflora because she is such a prolific weed. But for that very reason, I love to gather the flowers and leaves, make honeys, um, dry some for teas, uh, put some into alcohol for tincture, and you can make an excellent, excellent sunburn remedy by taking your wild rose blossoms, putting them into apple cider vinegar and waiting about a month, and then you have a wonderful relief for sunburn. All in all, rose is a medicine famed for helping the heart, for opening the heart, for healing the heart from heartbreak. Physically, I use rose a lot for skin conditions, uh, for helping to cool down an inflamed liver, which can often lead to things like hot rashes or boils. Um, but rose, even simply to enjoy as a tea, is a divine earthly ally to bring into your life. So get to know your roses, whether they are planted or wild, whether they're dog rose or multiflora rose or this beautiful New Jersey rose whose botanical name escapes me at the moment. Uh, I love rose medicine and her thorns give us a whole other piece of the puzzle of knowing how to protect ourselves, how to claim sacred space. Here's another little blossom that wants your, whoops, there we go, attention. Um, so enjoy rose medicine. It's good for you. It's good for everyone. And lots of love and green blessings to you. Until next week, take care.